Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to choose a couple of my watercolors here and put them into one of these smaller tins for One Book July. So I do have these three smaller tins. This one is from Designs by Rachel Beth. This one is from Lonely Moon Arts. And then this one was a Marilyn Monroe set that was from Hydracolor. And I think I'm gonna use this one just because it's a little bit bigger and I think that I will be able to fit six half pans in here, but I might only be able to fit five in these. So I'm gonna set these aside and I'm going to open up to a blank page. Okay, so I have my highlighter color as well as my fountain pen ink color that I'm going to use for the month. So I wanna put those, I kinda wanna swatch those um, just so that I can kind of match my watercolors to these colors. So there is my ink and I chose Sailor Man Yohaha. I might switch this out for a broad nib though. I haven't decided. Right now this is a 1.1. I just want to see if it flows a little bit nicer. I don't know. It's kind of a dry ink, so probably not. And then there's that one, but I also have, I also have this one. Hmm. I don't know which one would be a better fit. I don't know, probably the one that I originally chose, the first one. So we'll do that. So I want to choose watercolors that are going to look nice with these colors. So I have my, one of my travel brushes. This is a number eight, around number eight. And I have my water, oops, I have my water over here. And we're going to just see what colors I want to use. Now I know I want to use, where did it go? Right here. This is Daniel Smith Rose of Ultramarine. And I know that I want to use this. Even though it's not a blue, this is like one of my favorite colors. That is very saturated. This color granulates and when it dries, you start to see the blues and the purples and everything kind of come out and it looks very nice. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna put this in here. And another one of my favorite, favorite colors is this one. Let's see if I push all of these. Down. Okay, so this is another Daniel Smith. This is um, Amazonite Genuine. And those two look really good together, which is also what I want. I want it to look nice with the ink because that's what I'll be writing with next to it, but I want them to complement each other. Hmm. The next one I might choose is this one here. This is called Myth and it is a shimmery watercolor by Hydracolor. I will link that shop below. It's on Etsy. And I love paints from Hydracolor. They are some of my favorite handmade watercolors. I don't know if I'm going to choose this one because it might be very, yeah, it is very similar to this Daniel Smith color. I mean, they're not the same, but they do look a little bit more green than this so I might keep that I'm gonna put it kind of off to the side just in case Okay. Um, I want to get a pink 
So I think I might choose this pink over here. Just move these out of the way. I think I might choose this pink over here. This is another Hydra color, and this is called Peaches and Cream. So the reason why I'm doing this challenge, I guess, is because as you can see, I have a crap ton of watercolors. And as you might also see, they are kind of barely used. Um, I do go through spurts of wanting to paint my pages and then not wanting to paint my pages for a few months and then wanting to paint them again. This is also a maybe. Uh, so because I have so many, they don't really wear down. They don't get used up. So this is my attempt at using up a couple of them. And then maybe I'll continue this challenge every month, at least the, the watercolor portion. Um, I'm gonna try Vintage Rose by Hydracolor. Let's see if that might look a little bit nicer. I think that's just a little bit too light and bright. Oh my goodness, what are my cats doing? They've been here for a week today and I can tell they're definitely getting comfortable. I have to put, we have a husky and I have to put the husky outside. Otherwise she will just bother the cats and the cats won't come downstairs. She doesn't try to you know, hurt them or eat them. She's such a sweet dog, but she wants to get in their face and I think she's a little confused as to why they're so small because um, she's never seen a cat before. So I have to put her outside so that the cats can be comfortable downstairs for a little bit. Okay, so that one is Vintage Rose. I like that one. I think that looks really nice with the Rose of Ultramarine. So I'm actually going to add that in. And I want to do... So I've been trying to use this up, but this isn't going to fit. This is a long time ago that I purchased this. And I'm really trying to use it up. I guess it won't fit in the palette, so I will probably have to set this aside. But the only other gold-ish metallic that I have is this one over here, which is Designs by Rachel Beth, and it is her Copper Candle. This is a color that many people know and love. So I might add this. I actually just got this a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't been watercoloring in a few weeks, so I actually haven't used this yet. But I think... I think I might add it just so I can get some use out of it. Although I was kind of saving it until I used that up. I know they're not the same, but I didn't want to use both of them. But since that one won't fit, I'm going to put this one in there. That one is a definite. Hmm. room for two more and I kind of want to do a color shifter so I have this one which is Maleficent by Hydracolor can you hear that that's a chihuahua I'm telling you I have a zoo here I have a husky a chihuahua I have two cats I have a toddler it is never boring here Always crazy, never boring. But anyways, this is Maleficent by Hydracolor. It is exactly what it sounds like if you pictured Maleficent as a watercolor. But that is a maybe. I'm gonna put the peaches and cream back because that's a no. Um, this one is still a maybe. Maleficent is a maybe. Hmm, another one of my favorites. This is my most used. This is Lotus by Hydracolor. This is a beautiful paint. 
and I think this will probably be a definite yes. It's a lot chunkier. It's kind of like a chunky glitter, but I love it for just like little polka dots around my pages because while it doesn't look like much there when it dries and I show you how it shifts, I think you will see what I see. <laughs> okay. And then, hmm. so I have need that one, that one, that one. So these three and this. Um, I can have one more. So I could either add this, but I don't think I'm going to add this because it is just so similar. So I'm going to put that back and then I'm going to put these ones back also. Um, do I add a purple or do I add a pop of color? That is the question of the day. <laughs> um, well, let's see. Let's look at Perm. This is Perm Violet by Daniel Smith. Okay, that's too similar to that, so I'm going to say no to that. Um, do I do a green? I don't think I'm gonna do Maleficent because it has green in it and I'm not really doing green in here. Kind of sticking with like purple, blue, and pink. So I have, okay, so I have Lotus and I have Copper Candle. Both of them I was intending to use as just highlights. And so I don't need two highlights. So I'm going to mix copper candles and just put lotus just because it's the most used and I want to try and keep using it up. Okay, so now I have room for two more. Do I want to go pink? Do I want to go? I have two blues. No, I don't. I have one blue. I didn't keep that one. So I have one blue, one purple, one pink, one that's going to be like a purpley blue shift once it's dried. Mm. Maybe I will go green. Maybe I'll do, maybe I'll do Maleficent, but I'll also add Hex Lime by Hydracolor. So that kind of will tie into the green so that Maleficent isn't the only green. I, I love this color. I think this is what I'm going to choose. So now on the next page, I'm going to swatch all of these together to see how they look. If I can get this, there we go. If I can get it in the palette. Okay, so I'm gonna close this up. Say goodbye to this for a month. Put this away. Okay. I'm going to swatch these six and we'll see how they look.
Okay, so these are going to be my colors for One Book July. We have Daniel Smith Amazonite, Daniel Smith Rose of Ultramarine, Hydrocolor Vintage Rose, Maleficent, Hex Lime, and Lotus. And I will show you up close. hard to see on video but you can see the Maleficent here is green and blue and then the Lotus this one's still a little bit wet but if I look at this one when it catches the Sun it kind of turns purple and then blue it's a little bit hard to capture but that is this when that dries a little bit more I'll probably do another layer of that just because the color shifters aren't as opaque as these all right well that is my broader color video I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed watching me sift through my watercolor collection I hope you all have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.